Hi guys, good day and welcome back. This is Glenn Pajares. Once again, I'm here to discuss a new topic in this video, which is the concept of time in the philosophy of Aristotle, or time in Aristotelian cosmology or philosophy of nature. So why is time so important? Because human beings value time. It's a luxury. It's an opportunity that no one would like to lose because time is tantamount to money, or tantamount to gain that makes the life of the human being organized, convenient, better, and successful. So to think of time is inevitable in the life of man. Thus, we will talk about the topic in the perspective of Aristotle. How does Aristotle define time? Time for Aristotle is the reckoning of motion as it's before and after. Again, time is the reckoning or the measurement of motion or movement or change as it's before and after. So whether we like it or not, change is tangible, it's observable, it's empirical. So all corporeal entities, all bodily beings are subject to change. They move. They either move themselves or they are moved by another. They change either substantially or accidentally. So bodily beings cannot es escape this process called change, motion, or movement. So that is the basis of time. So without motion, without change, there is no time. There is no recognition of a before and an after. It is only in change that the human mind is able to abstract, decipher, able to get the notion of time. So time is basically a mental entity, according to Aristotle. It is a product of abstraction based on the real or tangible experience of motion and change. So if you ask me, what is time for Aristotle? It's a mental entity with a foundation in reality. Mental entity because it is an idea, a product of the abstraction of the intellect from the apprehension of motion or change in life. So without the intellect, without the existence of a rational being abstracting time from motion, there can be no concept of time at all. So that's why for Aristotle, time is dependent on motion as its empirical or real basis. So for example, a day is 24 hours. It consists of 24 hours. And what is the basis of the idea of a day? Again, it's taken from the real experience of motion of objects. And what is that specifically? That's the movement of the earth on its axis. So we get the idea of a day. Now, the movement of the earth or the revolution of the earth around the sun, then that's that's how we get or that's how we got the idea of a year, 365 days and a half or one fourth. So that's how we get the, the idea of year. And all concepts of time, the duration of the before and after is taken from the experience of motion. So again, what is time? Time, according to Aristotle, is the measurement of motion or change as it's before and after. So every change, every motion has a starting point, which we call the before, and an end point or the terminal point, which we call the after. So we experience that every day. So that's why we have the idea of time. Thank you for watching and listening. I hope you learned something today. Please don't forget to click, like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also don't forget to give your feedbacks and comment to help me improve my future videos. Once again, thank you very much.